Okay, uh, continuing where we left off last time. So we've created this uh, 3D, we'll call it 3D, even though we're using a 2D plane, uh, street sign here. Uh, problems with this is uh, where the shadows are cast. Um, we have to make sure that their textures are set or the materials are set to receive transparent shadows. Also, if we were to rotate this, rotate Z90, or rotate Z, there we go. You notice the back looks the same as the front. So what we want to do is actually create a 3D uh, model of basically the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete our sign portion here, leaving the post, and I'm going to go back into GIMP. And here is the 2D image we created before. We're going to use that as a texture in a moment. But for right now, I'm going to hit Control N to create a new image. And I'm going to make this any size I want, but I'm going to say 256, 256. And now I have this blank image. I'm going to hit Control A to select all. And I'm going to go select rounded rectangle. And just as we did for our original sign, I'm going to pick 25%. So now we have this rounded rectangle here as selected. And what I can do is I can go selection to path. And if you go to your path tabs over here, you can see it's create a path. I can right click that and go to export. And I can save this. I'm going to save this under temp my sign dot SVG. That's saved. I'm going to go back to Blender. And in here, I'm going to, with my cursor over the 3D view, hit spacebar SVG. That's what I'm going to type. And I'm going to import SVG. I'm going to choose that SVG we just exported and click import. Now, you may not see it, especially at the resolution we did. It's kind of small. I'm going to hit 7 to go top view. And if I zoom in, you can see it right there. First thing we're going to do, you notice it's off center. I'm going to hit shift or control shift alt C. I know that's a lot, but it's control shift alt C. And I'm going to center the geometry to origin. Now I can scale it up a bit. I can go back to my front view here. And I'm going to hit R, X, 90 to rotate that 90 degrees. And I'm going to scale it till it looks about the right size. And then I'm also going to hit R, Y to rotate it on the Y axis and hit 45 and hit enter. And we've rotated it 45 degrees. At this point, I can line it up right about here. Go into side view, make sure it's in front of the post there. And then we're also going to go with that object selected, this into the paths uh, tab here. I'm going to set it to 2D, and we're going to extrude it just a little bit. In fact, 0 0.001 might be enough. Let's go ahead and hit F12 here. And there you can see we now have a 3D sign. And if I go into like a um, textured mode here, you can see it actually has depth, unlike the other image. And now we can apply textures to the front and back. And I'll do that real quick. I'm just going to go back into GIMP here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose uh, the image that we originally created. And just to make it easier, I am going to fill in the background with yellow as well. So I'm just going to choose our fill bucket and I am going to fill in this. Why is that not working? Oh, I had some stuff selected. And if you click once and you had you saw before I had a little bit of a line, just fill it in again and it will overdo that. So now we have this. I can export this image. So I'm going to go file export uh, as and I'm going to put it in my temp folder. I'll just overwrite my last image of uh, sign1.png, export, and replace the previous one, export it. Now we'll go back to Blender. And what I can do is I can now convert this from a curve to a mesh. So with it selected, I'm going to go object, convert to mesh from curve. And uh, I am going to then tab into edit mode. A to select all. You might have to hit twice if you already have stuff selected. And I am going to go U for unwrap. And for this, there's different ways to unwrap. I'm going to do, I think, for this from view. And if I pull open a new window here, I'm going to go into our UV editor. And I am going to choose a new image by choosing this folder here. And I'm going to choose our sign image. And here you can see we have our vertices. And I can scale this up and align it properly. And 
and let's hit F12 and see how that looks. Oh, we also need to apply that. So with that selected, we have a material added and we're gonna to go to textures, new texture, and we're gonna choose coordinates uh, from UV. Projection is correct. And we're going to choose from this drop down our sign and now we can hit F12 and there is our sign. Now at this point, if I was to, let's go ahead and parent this to the pole again, control P to parent it. And I'm going to rotate negative 90 degrees. Oh, rotate Z negative 90 degrees. I can hit F12, you notice the back of the sign is still the same, but now that it's a 3D object, we can apply a different texture to the back where before we couldn't. And that is pretty much it. Uh, again, this is just me playing around, you know, practicing. Uh, I think that our texture could be a little more centered properly. And that is how it looks. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.